Hello, Blake Rudis here with your On One short clip. And I've showed you something in the past with On One Photo 10 that dealt with what I called protection measures in On One Photo 10. And they're here in On One Photo Raw 2, which makes them really exciting to use because of the way that they will adapt to your image as you are editing. So what I want you to do before we begin is pause this video and download this image so you can follow along with me because I'm gonna be showing you some pretty heavy stuff here on how this works. So once you've got that downloaded, go ahead and put it on your desktop just like I've done here. And we're just gonna go ahead and minimize our browse section here because we just have this one image. And I'm gonna to go to effects. And what I want us to do here is take a really bad effect. It's not a bad effect, but it's a bad effect for this image. So if you go into our presets here and you go over to hipster, in hipster we have this good old blue. And that's a good, it's actually not that bad of a preset. I kind of do enjoy it because of the look that it gives my image. But I'm going to do something really bad to it to show you how these protection measures work. So we'll take this black and white, just lower that down, take the textures and the photo filter, lower all those down so we can see exactly what we want to affect. In the textures folder, right down here where the texture is, I want you to grab this opacity and move it all the way over. So it's already starting to look pretty gnarly, all right? And now what I want you to do is open this gear icon and here change the blending option to difference. And it doesn't look very good and it shouldn't look very good. And we're doing that for a reason because now we can really see how these apply to settings work. So if we click on apply to right here, this gives us highlights, midtones, shadows, reds, greens, blues, magentas, cyans, yellows, flesh colors, vivid colors, and neutrals. So what we're gonna do is just take a look at the top three. So I'm gonna go into this highlights one and click highlights. Notice how the range is automatically set to 40. This range is what allows you to apply whatever it is that you want to to just your highlights within this specific filter. If we turn this off, there's no difference, okay? So bring this range all the way down to zero. Now there's no effect because we're telling it to apply it to the highlights but not apply it to any of our highlights until we start moving this value over until we go all the way to 100, okay? So it starts out with the lowest or the biggest amounts of highlights, your biggest swatches of highlights first, and then moves into your varying degrees of highlights until it gets into your midtones and even starts to encroach a little bit on some of our shadows here. But you can see our building is very dark on the top of the roof there, so it's not really affecting the roof until we get really far over on that range spread. So now let's go to our midtones. We'll hit midtones and move that range over. And now as we move that range on over, you can start to see how it fills in the midtones first. And it's not affecting our highlights or our shadows right now as strongly as it's affecting our midtones. Let's just go that far, okay? And bring it all the way over to 100. And then you start to see how even some of our highlights here are still protected from that area. So with that range all the way at 100, start to protect those highlights. We're now telling it to protect the highlights of those midtones so that they start to come through. So not only do we have the range adjustment to apply it only to our midtones, now we have these adjustments down here to apply it to our highlights, our shadows, our skin, and so forth. Skin is kind of like your midtones. So let's take this to another level now. Let's hop over into develop and watch what happens because our filtering is happening, the develop module happens below the effects. So if I bring up the highlights here, you can start to see how the scratches start to go away. So we've got those protection measures that we put in place in the effects module by applying it to only specific areas. And then as we increase the highlights or the contrast or the shadows in this image on the develop level, it's happening on the lowest level. And all those settings from effects are applying themselves as it sees the image below. So it's kind of like a fluid or organic developing process now. Because now what's happening is any adjustments that we make underneath on this lower level in develop, the effects are going to analyze that and apply themselves accordingly based on the amounts of highlights and shadows that you give them. We bump up those whites, you start to see that that texture goes away completely because of the way that we've used those apply to settings. We've basically got three dimensional levels here of editing now. We've got the develop level, then we've got the effects level, then we've got the protection measures within the effects level and the ability to go back into develop and modify our image underneath accordingly. The reason why I gave you this image so that you can work along with me is because this is a pretty heavy topic, but if you can get a good handle on this, you will begin to master photo editing and apply really advanced concepts in a very simple way. To me, this is the absolute power of On One Photo Raw at its finest. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Again, my name is Blake Rudis. I really do appreciate it.